This is Swaledale in the Yorkshire Dales, and the capital of this area is Richmond. The town was founded by the Normans in 1071 and grew up around the castle, which dominates the other buildings around it. On the outskirts of the town is the Swaledale Cheese Company, run by David and Mandy Reed, who have been making Swaledale cheese for the last 20 years. The moment a knife slices through one of their rustic, crusted masterpieces, the semi-sweet smell of Swaledale's finest hits the back of the throat and sets the juices flowing. Which is exactly why their old peculiar, chives and garlic, smoked goat, blue and new organic varieties are celebrated throughout the UK, notching up one award after another for their taste, texture and visual appeal. It's a standard the Reeds have worked long and hard to achieve and continue to perfect, making thousands of cheeses by hand for a market which includes Harrods, Selfridges, specialist cheese shops, as well as farmers markets and major food exhibitions across the country. The history of Swaledale cheese is uh, very similar to a lot of local cheeses um, that they were brought over from France by the uh, French monks who lived in the local abbeys and they passed on the cheese making techniques to uh, the locals and the cheeses developed in the different dales and Swaledale happens to be one of them. We got into cheese making, um, I was actually made redundant from a job I was doing at the time and a friend of mine put the idea into my head. Um, and basically that was it. I read every book I could find on cheese making and, and off we went. When we started um, Swaledale cheese it was no longer being made in the Dale um, and so we were the only commercial people who started so it was a very easy thing to do, no competition. Well, I found somebody uh, who lived in Swaledale who used to make Swaledale cheese. So after um, reading the books, I visited uh, Marjorie Longstaff, who lives in Reeth, and um, I asked her if she could give me the history of Swaledale cheese, which she very kindly did. Basically, all we did was get the recipe right and ring the um, local and some national cheese wholesalers and told them we were making Swaledale cheese and fortunately for us we started making cheese just at the beginning of a, a, a cheese boom basically and we got dragged along with it for the first three years we didn't our feet didn't touch the ground um, and we moved into new premises within 18 months of starting. We now make 13 different varieties of Swaledale cheese that's the traditional cow's milk a sheep's milk and a goat's milk cheese and some of the more unusual ones are we, we have an old peculiar Swaledale which is soaked in Thixon's old peculiar Yorkshire ale. We, do, uh, we have chives and garlic, we have smoked version, um, we, do, we now do a, a more European type cheese called Italiana with sun-dried tomatoes and basil for that Mediterranean feel. The difference between mass-produced cheese and Swaledale cheese is that we are still using the traditional handmade method uh, which was used in the farmhouses. Obviously nowadays there's stricter hygiene rules that we have to adhere to and the use of wood is, has been changed to stainless steel but it's still the same basic method. The basic process of making cheese is that we're going to remove the solids from the milk. So we warm the milk up to uh, 30 degrees, which is the same temperature it comes out of the cow. And basically we set it with rennet. Then we cut the set curd with the curd knives, um, which then it separates into curds and whey. The curds are the solids, the whey is the liquid. We use the solids to make the cheese. Now we make batches of cheese of 2,300 litres, which is 500 gallons, um, and that will make somewhere, it does vary through the year, but in cow's milk it will make 260, 270 kilos. Once we've drained off the whey, we then turn the curd until it's in firm blocks, which we put through a curd mill um, which breaks it into flakes without damaging it. The milk comes from local farms in Swaledale. Uh, the organic milk, we can actually name the farm and we know the farmer. 
that supplies the milk, which is a great selling point. Once we've pressed the cheese in the moulds, we then remove it and place it into a brine solution, which is the old traditional method of salting the cheese. So the cheese sits in the brine for 24 hours. It's then removed, dried, and brought into the maturing rooms, where over the period of a month, it will develop a nice mouldy crust, which is brushed and the cheeses are turned on a regular basis. And that's how the cheese flavor forms, develops, and rather. I see the future for Swaledale cheese is um, just a continuation really of what we've started here, just to carry on and keep on growing. The national cheese um, business in this country is growing year on year, as is our business, and I think we'll have a long and healthy future. The type of cheese we make is not regularly found in supermarkets. You have to look further afield, go into your local delis and cheese shops to find it. I think what makes our cheese so special is that it is, it is handmade and it is a traditional cheese. It's nice and creamy and very moist, so it's not a powerful, strong flavour. It's um, just a generally pleasant cheese to eat. <laughs>